What's up, everybody, and welcome to week three of the Bioball Breakdown. Check it out. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the third edition of the Bio Ball Breakdown. One take. Thank you so much to our presenting sponsor, who has been with us since the beginning. What a way to start this week's episode. We are back once again, courtesy of our great friends at Danforth Advisors and J.P. Morgan Chase & Company. We have got a great lineup for you today. We got highlights, we got plays of the week, and maybe a new segment or two. But first, we're gonna get to those main court highlights presented by D. Finn and our good friends at Hogan Levels. Let's see what we got. Check out this awesome sign from the Wareham Wild Vikings representing themselves and their partners, Bluebird. We are Bioball. You sure are. And you are this week's entire highlight package with your great team engine video that even has background music. What production? Oh man, it wasn't three times. Thank you, Bluebird. Thank you, Special Olympics from Wareham, Mass. Thank you. Thank you, Bioball. Thank you, Bioball. Thank you, Special Olympics. Thank you. Talk early or what? Thank you, Bioball. <laughs> Thank you, Bioball, Special Olympics, for all that you do for all. Thank you, Bioball. Thank you for Special and someday go Hill Nation. Thanks, Special Olympics. You did it before. Thank you, Special Olympics. Shout out to everybody. Go team. Thank you, Special Olympics. Thank you, Bioball. Thank you, all Bioball teams. I tell you, you guys are crushing it on the skills, crushing it on the challenges, and submitting so many videos. The leaderboard is changing daily. You can go to bioball.org to see where you stand on a regular basis, but let's check it out now. This week, we're taking a look at the most important leaderboard, fundraising. As a reminder, the top teams from last year were Santa Fe Genzyme at nearly $35,000, Bluebird at $20,000, Series just north of seventeen, dollars and Takeda right under seventeen. dollars in total, we saw the 16-team field raise more than $145,000. Just an awesome total. I know our 2014 field this year can crush that number. We see a lot of similarity at the top of the current 2020 leaderboard, plus two teams making their Bioball debuts in RSM and Commonwealth Financial, helping to set that pace. We've got some exciting things coming out there for the beginning of October to make sure we finish strong on the team fundraising. All right, everybody, let's see if we finally got one of those tweets of the week presented by our good friends at Greenwood Industries. Are these bounce? Flashing all the way back to 2018 here when the Bioball Committee was honored at a pregame ceremony at Fenway Park to recognize the massive impact that has been made for the athletes at Special Olympics, not only in dollars raised, but also in the amazing community it has created. And of course, great work by committee co-chairs and Special Olympics Massachusetts board members, Greg and Eric, for making sure to wear gear with our logo on it. A lot of people in their position might overlook something like that. All right, time to see the crossover search play of the week. Speaking of plays of the week, not many people had more of those in their day than our good friend, Mr. Bob Cousy. Am I right, Bob? All right, run that play of the week. This might be our most impressive play of the week yet here from Generation Bio. Was there a crazy slam dunk? No. A million three-pointers in a row? Nope, not that either. Something even more complicated. After seven months of living on video conferencing, I think we can all acknowledge how impressive it is to have 25 people on one video conference and all talking in unison. Way to go. We are we Generation, Generation Bio. 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 Hello, Hello, sir. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. <laughs> One of the really good parts about going virtual this year is that all your friends and family can participate in Bioball right alongside of you, doing the challenges at home, submitting their scores, submitting their videos. And in fact, it's given us a great opportunity to meet some of our Bioballers of the future. Check it out. One of the best parts of Special Olympics is how easy and awesome it is to get entire families involved. And virtual Bioball has given us that here too. From dunks in the pool to dribbling skills in the driveway, we are meeting some super, <laughs> see what I did there, Bioballers of the future. From this footage, the 2035 event is clearly going to be stacked with some serious talent. And it won't be long until these kids are the ones taking the lead on growing the grassroots movement of Special Olympics in their community. From the looks of it, we're gonna be in good hands. 
All right, we had such a great time in this week's edition of the Bioball Breakdown. So many highlights, so many dunks, plays of the week, tweets, Bioballs of the future. What's next week going to bring? We don't know. But what I can tell you is an answer to the question that you've had. Yes, this shirt will be autographed by Bob and I. I don't even really know what color it is. Uh, and we will put it out to a high bidder in the coming days. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, we'll see you next week.